it has been asked to me again and again that neither Mahavira nor Buddha nor Krishna served the poor, opened the hospitals, his schools. Christian saints serve the poor. the sick, the orphans, the old. Who is religious? The ordinary mind will think certainly the person who is serving the poor, the old, the sick, is religious. It is not so easy to decide. Jesus cures the sick. Mahavir never cured anybody. The story is about Gautam Buddha. A woman's only son died. Her husband has died before. She was a widow. And in India, to be a widow is to be really in hell. In the West, the widow again becomes miss. In India, it is not possible. Once you have missed, you have missed. (laughs) You cannot become miss again. So that child was the only hope. She was living for him and the child died and she was mad. She was carrying the dead child all over the town that helped me somehow bring my child back to life. A man, by the way, suggested that we are ordinary people, we cannot do such miracles. But Buddha is in the town, why don't you go there? The suggestion was perfectly right. The woman rushed. She placed the dead child in Buddha's feet and she said, I am a widow. And this child was my only hope. You are a great saint. Your blessing will be enough for him to bring to life. Buddha said, I will do it, but only on one condition. Jesus never asked such a thing. condition. I will do it, but only on one condition. The woman said, I am ready to accept any conditions. You do it. He said, first fulfill the condition. It is not a very big condition. Go around the town and bring from some house few mustard seeds. The woman said, that is not a problem at all. I have mustard seeds in my house. I can bring right now. Buddha said, you have not heard the whole thing. You have to bring from the house where nobody has ever died. Only then, 
I am going to bring your child back to life. But the woman in despair rushed from one home to another asking for few mustard seeds. They said, what about few mustard seeds. We can bring full of bullock carts, but they won't be of any use because the condition is impossible to fulfill. So many people have died in our family. And you are not going to find a house where nobody has ever died. This is just impossible. Wherever life is, death has happened. They go together. By the evening, the woman came back. She was no more in despair. Her Tears have disappeared from the eyes. She was no more concerned about the child. She fell in Buddha's feet and asked him to initiate her on his path. Buddha said, what about the child? She said, everybody dies sooner or later. It doesn't matter. Now I want to know something of that which never dies. No, this is a totally different way of working than Jesus. Jesus cures. His stories are that he raises dead back to life. Perhaps that is his way. That's his uniqueness. In that way he wants people to understand that life is not just eat, drink and be merry. There is something more to it. More mysteries. Don't waste in just mundane things. I can show you the way of eternal life. That is his way. But who can decide that Buddha's way is wrong? Perhaps more sophisticated perhaps for more cultured people.